What's happening guys? It's Shane here. Got a very quick video for you today. We are gonna be going over the top 10 highest paying business degrees. These degrees in many cases are going to be relatively rare. These aren't gonna be commonly known ones. Well, some of them are, but a lot of them aren't gonna be very commonly known. This is based off of data that we got off of Payscale. And some of these degrees are going to be combined. Uh, some of them also would be like double majors. But with that being said, let's jump right into it. Gonna be a super quick one. We're gonna get into it right after you gently tap that like button, hit the subscribe button and ring the notification bell. And here we go. First one on the list is going to be business and information technology. Starting off, they'd make about $58,000 a year and mid-career pay is $108,000. One career path you might go down is becoming a computer systems analyst and they make about $90,000 a year. So yeah, this would be kind of a combination of an information technology degree and a business degree. Pretty rare, not very many people get both of those, but very high paying. Next one on the list is going to be finance and marketing. With this one starting off, you'd make $53,000 a year and mid-career pay is $110,000. One career path you could go down is becoming a personal financial advisor. They make about $87,000 a year. So yeah, two very popular business degrees. The combination there is quite good. Another one that has finance in it is gonna be number three on the list, which is finance and international business. So this is gonna be all about managing money like you do in finance, but on an international scale. Start off making about $57,000 a year and mid-career pay is 111,000. One career path you might go down is becoming a financial analyst and they make about $81,000 a year. Next one on the list is gonna be the combination of accounting and economics. This is a great combination because accounting is kind of like in the trees, so to speak. You know, you're, you're crunching the numbers, you're inside of businesses, whereas economics kind of takes more of a 30,000 foot view. You're seeing the entire forest. But both of these degrees were top on the list of the degrees that create the most millionaires. So I can see why it makes such a good combination. And with this one, you would expect to make about $61,000 a year starting out and 117,000 in mid-career pay. One career path you could go down is becoming an accountant or an auditor, and they make about 70 $1,000 a year. Next one is going to be quantitative economics. And this one is basically a combination of economics and mathematics slash statistics. With this one, you'd expect to make about $62,000 a year starting out and 121,000 in mid-career pay. One career path you might go down is becoming a management analyst and they make about $85,000 a year. Next one on the list is going to be corporate accounting and finance. So this is kind of a combination of an accounting degree with a finance degree. With this one, you'd expect to make about $61,000 a year starting out and 123,000 in mid-career pay. One career you might pursue is becoming a financial manager and they make about $129,000 a year. Next one on the list is going to be operations and information systems management. So information systems, uh, management information systems, very popular degree. Then you combine that with operations, which is basically figuring out how to keep things running on a day-to-day -day basis. And you've got a very good combination here. $63,000 a year starting out and 125,000 in mid-career pay. One career you might consider is operations research analyst, and they make about 84,000 dollars a year. So this one is going to teach you some technology skills which are incredibly valuable with some good old-fashioned operations management skills which never go out of style pretty much. Next one on the list is going to be quantitative business analysis and this is going to be business analysis with an emphasis on mathematics and statistics. With this one, you start off around $67,000 a year and mid-career pay is an astounding 136,000. One career path you could go down is becoming a logistician and they make about $74,000 a year. Next one on the list is going to be public 
accounting. And this one, you're gonna start off about $60,000 a year and mid-career pay is 138,000. One career path you could go down is becoming a financial examiner and they make about $81,000 a year. And public accounting is one of the highest paid types of accounting. So you're basically specializing in one of the types of accounting that is known to be pretty high paying. And then number 10 on the list, this is gonna be one of the least high paying ones, but I think that it opens the door for you to get into careers that are very high paying. It's going to be management information systems on its own. So this is such a new degree that the numbers really aren't completely out on it. However, it just opens up so many different doors because you're combining that business skill set with a technology skill set, and that is just a deadly combination. Lots of different roles out there that you can get into that you truly need both of those skill sets in. Companies absolutely love hiring people with management information systems degrees, and so therefore, if you're somebody who wants to make quite a bit of money, this one is gonna be very high on the list. But yeah, hope you enjoyed the video. Check out my other videos right here. I made them just for you. Go ahead, gently tap the like button, hit that subscribe button, ring the notification bell, and comment down below any thoughts, comments, criticisms, etc. that you have on the video, and I will see you next time.